today is a good day. I've been on the road trucking here. Adam was actually out ripping and uh, or still is out ripping. But it's really funny because he just called me and he's like, hey, we got a problem. And immediately I was like, oh, now what? Like what broke, right? That's the question at hand, like what broke? I can see why it didn't spin. Yeah. Once you know it, he just wants the GoPro. So I'm headed home, I'm like a mile from home on a gravel road here, and I just laugh. The GoPros are the little cameras that we film with. They're the cameras that are pretty cheap and pretty expensive that we can just throw on equipment and kind of like use them as a time lapse to show like what we're doing that day. So I'm gonna get home, grab my pickup, and go uh, see if I can't find uh, the missing GoPro. It is currently uh, 1 o'clock on this very, very gloomy uh, Sunday. Uh, it's 32 degrees out. We have zero snow. Uh, you can see in the background, you got the field. And no snow at all, which is just crazy. I am actually going to be going ripping. Uh, yesterday, I put brand new brand new teeth on the ripper. It's just our little, little case, uh, five shank, three-point mounted ripper. Got a couple, we have all of our fields done, luckily, but it's just three little fields for another farmer that he wants done. We tried doing it uh, like a week ago. The field was too close for us to actually work. So I came back and with all this rain, it kind of you know softened the ground out. It's definitely gonna go, especially with these new points on the river. I gotta use this because the Steiger that we would've used, it's got the seven shank, which is in my opinion, I like that better. It's bigger, it'll get the job done faster. But that's uh, front wheel drive now only, apparently. I guess the rear drive shaft blew or it went bad. And so, can't really do a whole lot in a four wheel drive tractor if you only got front wheel drives. Well, got my first deal down. Been really quick. I think it was only about 20, 25 minutes roughly. I got two more to go. This one's funny. I'm out here in another farmer's farm field trying to find the GoPro that we lost. And once you know it, right there, I just found it. I don't know how we found it, but we found it and we're about to see what condition it's in. The irony, we're helping one of our neighbors out. This isn't one of our fields and I don't know this landlord, so I didn't want to be all crazy, but I did have a metal detector. All right, cool. Okay, so you can see right there, there's a tractor. There's a tractor tread right over it. There's the GoPro. All right. Unbelievable. Not even a screen that's cracked. Oh. Dang. So this is pretty cool. It, uh, I don't even think we cracked a screen and we literally drove a tractor over it. Thanks, GoPro. Thanks. Screen even turned on. Pretty cool. Well, I'm on my last and final pass of the last of the three fields, so is a little in or a little before 4 30. definitely is a really nice feeling just knowing that we're done you know just officially done with everything well i hope you have a sense of humor uh originally i had this gopro and it was absolutely covered in mud this is the one that got ran over yesterday this morning it was still covered in mud then i came home today after doing some trucking and run around and doing kind of year-end stuff and i noticed it was kind of cleaned up and that's when I noticed, I was like, oh, grandkids were here. And so I asked Corbin, I'm like, hey, did you clean up that camera? And he's like, yeah, it was all covered with mud. And I'm like, yes, it was all covered with mud for a reason. Ruin that end of the film. I thought it'd be cool just to show that, even though we did it in the field, that, hey, it turned on and all this and that. With grandkids being here, they're always, they're at an age where they're working on their own projects. And then I noticed this, this old four-wheeler get pushed into the shop. It'll be a lead into a later video. Uh, Cause I know that four wheeler right there, I'm gonna have to help my nephew get that thing running. 